in uh, learning how to adjust opacity in CupCup PC can be beneficial for your video editing projects. You can create fades, overlays, opacity control allows you to control to gradually fade videos or images in and out, creating really smoother transitions. You can also use it to uh, layer videos or images on top of each other with variety transparency levels useful for creating picture in picture effects or some really nice effects overlays uh, also creating depth focus adjusting the opacity of certain elements you can create a sense of depth in your video so please watch this video till the very end i'm going to show you a couple of ways you can use this how to do this so please sit back and watch this video till the very end so you don't miss any step you're going to find this very helpful and if you find this helpful Please subscribe for more CapCut tutorials. Okay, so here I have a video and an image. I'm going to first refer to this uh, video. So first I'm going to talk about video, how you can decrease the opacity. So here, you're just going to change the format. Sorry, not this one. Just going to click this here. Very easy. Now, how to change the opacity. How to adjust opacity in CupCut. So what you have to do here, select your video first. And then once you select your video, you'll see this tab here or this panel. Right in here, it's kind of hidden, this uh, option here. You can't see, you see blend, stabilize, reduce image, noise, remove flickers, motion blur. You can have some motion blur, but where is opacity? You can't even look speed, more, you know, remove background mask, retouch. So where is it? <laughs> Uh, well, it's actually here in Blend. First, I thought it was in Blend, but I didn't, you know, it's not really quite writing, you know, opacity here. So, yeah, is it in Blend? Right over here, you can change the opacity of your video. But, wait, because you can combine this with Multiply, let's say, but not for this one. Let's say, yeah, now you want to change the opacity of a logo, of a video. It looks great, but you can combine this with so many stuff where in in um in CapCut or any other program uh, any other you know editing software you can combine modes blend now here i have some elements i can use to show you some new, really nice effects so if i grab this green color here and i add this on top of this video so this video is located here but this green background is located on top of this first video so if i click on this i go to opacity i can decrease of course the opacity and you can get this really nice effect this green effect now you can do a lot of stuff you can go to mask you can click on circle and you can only add this green effect to only a small portion of your video Let's say you only want this part and you can even add some feather so you don't have sharp edges. Go to basic and now you have this nice effect and you can even use this mode. So with this, it looks more realistic. Let's say multiply, as you can see, compared to default, looks more realistic multiply. And what it does multiply, well, you can, uh, you can think of this like imagine you're holding two colored pieces of paper on top of each other the top shade has some color to it like a blue filter the bottom shade can be any picture or video so you can see both pieces of paper clearly the blue filter colors uh, filter colors everything underneath it a bit blue you know so multiplier multiply mode is like uh, dimming the light areas that are lighter on the bottom shade like the brighter highlights and will be affected less by the blue filter so staying closer to the original color but darker areas like uh, you know shadows will be darkened even more by the blue filter creating a more dramatic effect so that's my best way i can explain this and now as you can see there's multiple modes here you can choose for brighter screen darker darker overlay 
overlay now with overlay blend mode your your green green um, background acts uh, acts uh, like a like a colored filter lighter greens will fully block your video while darker greens um, become more transparent letting uh, glimpses of your video show true this creates a texture green effect with some of your original video peeking uh, through in the darker areas i hope you understand my explanation so um you can also use let's say this logo here we have this logo i can crop this logo actually let's crop this actually let me show you like this so i have some dark here and if i go here to brighten you know it actually moves the darken it moves now the white removes the, the dark again overlay hard light soft light blur multiply color dodge very nice effect here as well linear blur soft light default brighten screen and now you removed the darker parts and you only have the logo so as i said this can be very helpful you know the decrease the opacity and uh, use this will multiply it or anything you want basically and again you can also you know use the mask here to mask some of the parts here maybe you only want the logo like this you know now you have the logo added on uh, this part so yeah i hope you found this tutorial this cup cut tutorial helpful if you have more questions about cup cut let me know in the comment section maybe you have you facing right now a problem within cup cut and you're looking for a solution please drop your question down below subscribe for more cup cut tutorials and uh, if you if you have your yeah, questions leave your questions down below and now i'll see you in the next video oh i forgot to actually show you this uh, image so yeah with the images the same thing you can add this to your image as well you can decrease the opacity opacity of your image you can also go to change, go to adjustments and change the color of your green so you can create different effects and uh, with this you can you know really decrease as i showed you before the opacity you know and yeah i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching